What's up, guys? So, got a little video for you today. There was a small little update, and if you're watching this when it first comes out, uh, if you're watching it when I first uploaded it, we are out the cow boss right now. We're gonna be here for about an hour, or so I mean, if you if you see this just get uploaded, then I don't know, come join us. If not, if you're here watching this a couple hours later. Uh, I don't know. Maybe some people will be here. Come, come, come here, anyways, right? <laughs> so, anyways, we'll get with the updates real fast. Uh, just a couple, few, uh, you know, few bug fixes, quality of life stuff from the last couple of updates. Kodak, the recent multi boss, is now a multi boss. It was originally not a multi boss. Only one person got loot. Whoever did the most damage, that has been fixed. Kodak and the mini bears now count towards the bear with me achievement as the achievement to kill two hundred bears. And then Kodak and the corporeal beast now count as pests, which means lightsabers will do. A lot of extra damage against them so i don't know if it's gonna be like better because the, the I, I, as far as far as corporal beast goes you're still gonna want a hosta or spear but uh maybe maybe the lightsaber's damage buff will be enough i don't know we'll have to we'll have to check it out next uh next mass for that uh ingested the rate of elven gold you get from kodak it was kind of becoming uh it was it was a little bit too much 10 kills was equivalent to one armor piece and all of the little stuff was very very farmable and that wasn't so much the intention. It was kind of just like to give you multiple options to spend your gold on if you plan to stay there for a long time. Um, this is one I'm kind of iffy on because I don't want it to be bad. I would like the zone to be used. So if this is something that we don't like or if, if there needs to be more changes other ways, maybe better rewards or something, I don't know. Let me know. Give me your feedback on that. And then the last change is Rune Pouch is no longer lost on death. You'll just keep it, keep all the runes inside of it, not have to worry about it anymore. Um... And that's pretty much it for the updates. Now, if you haven't heard, lately Dark has been working on the data, and it has been done. Dark finished the data recently, so we have we've updated. We've got Nex. You can see we've got Tor I don't. I haven't coded it yet, but we've got Torva. We've got Inquisitor, Nightmare, Theta Blood, all of that stuff. So we're going to start seeing that stuff come in the, in the following weeks. But this next week, the, fifth, uh, the 14th, Friday, we should be releasing the Halloween event. So that'll be pretty fun. And then either God Wars 2, Theater of Blood, both, something, that, that's kind of the next few things we're going to be working on. Um, there's going to be a lot of small stuff we want to try to do as, as along the way. So there's, if there's any more bug fixes, quality of life stuff you've been asking for, just keep posting it in the Discord section, the suggestions or bug fixes, whatever it applies to, and, until it gets fixed. If it's not fixed yet, then just keep, you know, keep reminding us because we'll eventually get it. I know people have been asking about the rune pouch for a while and uh, just now finally got around to doing that, but... Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, again, if you if you're here watching this early, come join us at the mass.